Today we're here for the NBA playoffs, but with a twist. Whoever wins the NBA championship is going to add a legend, and that legend is Michael Jordan. So not only will the team have the joy of lifting up the Larry O'Brien trophy, they're also going to have a great chance to repeat with the addition of one of the greatest of all time. So I went through the first few rounds of the playoffs pretty quickly, but now that we're at the conference finals, I'm going to slow things down. We got Memphis and the Clippers facing off in the Western Conference Finals. One of these teams is going to have a chance to move on and fight to add MJ to their team. And then out east, we've got Philadelphia and Miami. Philly could definitely use the addition of another star player after losing James Harden and the Heat. They've been in trade rumors for like every star and they've missed out, so this could be their chance. Philadelphia was able to beat the Heat in six, but we've got a game seven between Memphis and the Clippers. Chance to move on to the finals here. Let's see who comes out on top. Two seconds left in the game. The Los Angeles Clippers have a chance to win it here at the buzzer. Mason Plumlee is inbounding the ball. He's going to give it into Russ from deep, and Russell Westbrook knocks it down. What a shot from almost half court. Oh my goodness, and the Clippers are going to be moving on to the finals behind a miracle shot from the Brody. Oh my goodness, he pulled up from all the way back here. What a shot with Ja Morant in his face. 2K never ceases to amaze me. What an incredible shot from Russ, and the Clippers are going to the finals. John Moran had 20 points. Desmond Bain had 20. We don't care about any of that, bro. Game 7, Brody. Come on now. He's him. Now our finals are set. We've got Philadelphia taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Game number one of the series is going to go to the Clippers. Game two also goes to the Clippers. Game three is going to go to Philly, and we're all tied up at two apiece. Let's hop in the Simcast for game five. And Philadelphia, they started off down two to zero, but they have taken three games in a row and now have a three to two series lead. Let's see if the Clippers can bounce back in game six and four seven here. And it looks like the Clippers are going to do exactly that. Kawhi Leonard, a 39-point explosion in this one to help the Clippers for 7. Whoever wins this game 7 will add Michael Jordan. And it's going to be Philadelphia. The Clippers made an effort to make a last-second comeback, but Philly got the job done. James Harden had a big game, but Joel Embiid wanted this dub bad, and he got it. So Michael Jordan is going to be a Philadelphia 76er. Philadelphia is set to be ridiculous for this upcoming season. With the trio of Maxi, MJ, and Embiid, they're definitely going to be championship contenders. Season number two is in the books, and Michael Jordan made his impact felt in Philadelphia, averaging over 31 points per game and making the All-NBA first team. And Philadelphia was the best team in the Eastern Conference. They won 63 games on the season. A great year, but that doesn't make them the definitive championship favorite. I mean, there's some other really good teams out there. So just like last season, we're going to get to the conference finals, and then we'll slow things down. So in the Western Conference, we've got OKC and Houston going at it. Two young teams in the conference finals. And in the East, it's going to be the reigning champs, Philadelphia, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, if Philadelphia adds another legend, it'll get really crazy. And that reminds me, I forgot to tell you all who the next legend's gonna be. And it's gonna be Kobe Bryant. So whoever adds Kobe, of course, is gonna be getting an absolute difference maker. OKC was able to beat the Rockets in six games, and Philadelphia and Cleveland are headed to a Game 7 here. And in Game 7, Philadelphia came out on top. Yeah, you don't really want to bet against Michael Jordan in Game 7s, do you? MJ drops 36 points. And now we've got the Sixers taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder in the NBA Finals. Game number one of the series goes to OKC. Game two goes to Philly. Game three is going to go to OKC, and we're all tied up at two apiece headed into game five. OKC is going to have to lock in for this big game against one of the greatest ever. And the Thunder are going to manage to get a win in game five despite 39 points to go with five steals from Michael Jordan. Chet Holmgren drops 34, and the Thunder are one game away from winning the chip and adding Kobe Bryant. But it's not going to be that easy for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Philadelphia 76ers come right back at OKC with a win of their own. Tyrese Maxey drops 40, MJ drops 34, and we're headed to a Game 7. And Game 7 is going to come down to the wire. We've got a two-point game here with a little over two minutes to go. Maxey attacking the basket, defended by the larger Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's going to pass it over to Mike. Mike going to give it over to Andrew Nemhard. Nemhard, the screen from Embiid, pulls the three and hits. Big shot from Andrew Nemhard. 
Shea Gilgis Alexander working on Tyrese Maxey. Shea in his bag. Steps it back, swings it over to Joe. Joe over to J Dub. J Dub gonna miss the layup. Maxey in the mid range, gets the screen, steps it back, shoots the three and misses. Josh Hart over to Shea Gilgis Alexander. SGA working on Andrew Nemhart. He gets it poked away, but Hart secures it once again. Shot clock winding down. Shea Gilgis Alexander fakes. He's gonna put up the shot and he hits the layup in heavy traffic to give the Thunder a one point lead. Ball goes into Tyrese Maxey. Maxey gonna get the screen from Embiid. Tyrese shoots the three and he misses it. Thunder grab the rebound. OKC in a favorable position here with less than a minute to go. Shea Gildas Alexander gonna pull the three and it's in and out. Now Michael Jordan is pushing the pace. He swings it over to Maxey. Maxey to the basket, fakes, gives it out to Hayward. Hayward for three and he misses it. Shea grabs the rebound. Now SGA is going to have it poked away by Tyrese Maxey. Maxey to the basket and he makes the layup to give the Sixers a one point lead. Shea posting up on Maxey. He's got the size advantage here. Shea's going to put up the layup and hit it. Thunder regain the lead. 19 seconds to go. Maxey with the clock winding down. Screen is coming from Joel Embiid. Tyrese going to pull the three over Shea and hit it. What a shot from Tyrese Maxey. 1.2 seconds to go. OKC throws up the full quarter and it's in and out. What a shot. Game winner. Game seven. NBA Finals. Tyrese Maxey. And now the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be an absolute force. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant are teaming up. Not to mention that this team has Maxey and Joel Embiid. And Michael Jordan's going to take home the finals MVP. After that shot Maxey hit, he might have deserved it, man. What a three ball. After the addition of Kobe Bryant, this Philadelphia squad is going to be a force to be reckoned with. But things could fall apart for them quickly because Joel Embiid is said to become a free agent next offseason and maybe he wants some more spotlight with Kobe and Mike starting to take over here in Philadelphia. I'm going to move Kobe over to small forward so that way both him and Michael Jordan can start. Season number three is in the books. Michael Jordan won Defensive Player of the Year and the Sixers went 66-16. and 16. So by no means are they unstoppable. I low-key expected them to just run through the league, but that was not the case. I think they could be set for a rematch with OKC, who went 64-18 and 18 on the year. They've got a deep team, a lot of young talent. But this Sixers team is definitely going to be tough with Mike and Kobe Bryant, along with Embiid and Maxi. It's just the depth around them isn't that crazy. So this season for our conference finals, we got San Antonio and Dallas out west, a battle of the Texas teams. And in the east, it's Philly versus Cleveland. Somehow the Cavs have Garland, D. Mitch, and Jason Tatum on the same squad. How did they manage that? Man, I'm not sure how they afforded to add all these players, but maybe this is the team that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with MJ, Kobe, and the Sixers. Also, I was surprised to see that OKC ended up losing in the first round. And we're headed to a Game 7 between San Antonio and Dallas. Philadelphia made pretty easy work of Cleveland, so whoever wins this is going to have to try and take down Kobe and Mike. And we've got a close one here. Mavs are down by 4, but they've got the ball. About 45 seconds to go in the game. Luka at the top of the key, going to get the screen from Mitchell Robinson. Doncic to the basket. Layup is good. So the Mavericks were within two. And if 2K wasn't dumb, they wouldn't intentionally foul. But watch out, because they're probably about to do that. And yeah, they did end up intentionally fouling. First free throw for Wemby is good. Second one for Wemby Yama is also good. Doncic to the basket, steps it back, floats it, and he misses. That's probably going to do it. So Wembenyama is going to be tasked with the challenge of taking down Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And now that we're in the finals, let me tell y'all what legend I'm going to be adding back to the league. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is making his return this year. Could y'all imagine a Wemby and Kareem frontcourt? That would be ridiculous. And the Spurs are going to have a chance to make that a reality if they can win this series. Game number one is going to go to Philly. Game two goes to San Antonio. The Spurs are up two to one. Spurs are up three to one. And the Spurs are going to complete the series in five games, taking down Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tyrese Maxey, and Joel Embiid. What a ridiculous feat from Victor Wembenyama. What a win. Wembenyama is only in his third season. So now the Spurs have a front court of Kareem and Victor Wembenyama. This duo is going to be ridiculous. 
Also, LeBron James has retired from the league, so for this upcoming season, whoever wins the chip is gonna add prime Bron to their team. Season number four is in the books. LaMelo Ball wins MVP. MJ, another DPOY over in Philadelphia. We'll have to see how they were doing. Kobe made all NBA. So did Kareem Abdul-Jabbar his first season playing alongside Victor Wembinyama. Wemby made All-NBA third team, man. This pairing was probably so special defensively. They were the number one seed in the Western Conference. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Philadelphia went 62-20. and 20. They were able to bring back and beat over the offseason, even brought in Walker Kessler. They've got a reloaded roster around their big four of Maxi, MJ, Kobe, and Embiid. But out west, there was a better team than the Sixers. The San Antonio Spurs won one more game on the season with their duo of Victor Wembanyama and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So this season in the conference finals, we've got San Antonio versus OKC and Philadelphia versus Charlotte. The Spurs taking on a great Oklahoma City Thunder team. Remember, OKC has so many draft picks and they use those to their advantage, adding more talent to the squad. And out east, we've got the Hornets who added Evan Mobley to their roster, taking on the Sixers. And we're going to get an NBA Finals rematch, San Antonio versus Philadelphia once again. Can Wembenyama and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar take down this stacked Sixers team? We're about to find out. I mean, Wemby was somehow able to do it himself last season, so we'll see what happens. Game number one of the series goes to the Spurs. Game two also goes to the Spurs. Game three is going to go to Philly. Game four goes to Philly, so we're all tied up, headed into game five. Game five is coming down to the wire, and this is where legends play their best basketball in the clutch. Tyrese Maxey has it, swings it over to Malik Monk. Monk going to give it over to MJ. MJ attacking the basket in the bolster. Oh my goodness, who just went flying into the basket? It. Oh, man. dog, that was a nasty poster. Sadiq Bey just got bodied on that dunk. I think Kareem might have been in that poster, too. Wembenyama just missed a close shot, so now the Sixers have a chance for the lead, and they're going to get it with the Malik Monk 3. Jeremy Sohan going to give it over to Sadiq Bey. Bey wide open for 3, and he misses. Maxi going to swing it over to Monk. And there was an illegal screen on Walker Kessler. So now the Sixers lose the ball and the Spurs will gain possession. Cassell going to swing it over to Vassell for the three ball. And he hits it. Big shot from Devin Vassell to put the Spurs up by two. Kobe Bryant going to pass it up to Embiid. Embiid the midi and he misses. And now the Sixers are going to have to send the Spurs to the free throw line. If both of these free throws drop for San Antonio, it's going to get ugly for the Sixers. They're probably going to lose. And both of them do go in. So now Philadelphia is down by four. But they've got some of the games great. So it's definitely possible they make this happen. Maxi going to get the screen from Embiid. He's attacking the basket. He fakes, puts up the floater and hits. So the Sixers still down by two after that bucket. And Tyrese Maxey just fouled out of the game, sending Cassell to the free throw line. And he missed! The Sixers get their big break! If Cassell misses this one, that'd be crazy, but he makes it. So now the Sixers need a three to send this game to overtime. Bryant gives it over to MJ. MJ fakes, pulls the three, and he misses it. This game is over with. The San Antonio Spurs are going to take it home. Victor Wembanyama, 35 points in this one. If the Spurs just win one more game, they will be adding LeBron James to their roster. And it looks like LeBron James is coming to San Antonio. The Spurs are going to win in game six. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar named finals MVP. Next season, we're going to see a battle of juggernaut teams. The Sixers have their big four. And now the Spurs are going to be adding Braun to their roster. I'm so excited. I mean, I'd assume we see both these teams in the finals. This Spurs team is absolutely ridiculous with the addition of LeBron. They're going to be tough to stop. Michael Jordan just won MVP this season. He also took home DPOY. Greg Popovich, though, wins Coach of the Year. So it's clear that the Spurs were great and the Sixers were doing their thing once again. It'll be interesting to see if we get another rematch. They were both around the same win total on the season. The Spurs, of course, added LeBron James. He came in, averaged about 19. I mean, there's only one ball to go around, so you can't expect anybody to be putting up too crazy in numbers. But regardless, we're going to get into these playoffs. Bro, Philadelphia lost in the first round. This 
See, this is when I love the unpredictability of 2K. The Pacers got a good squad though. They've got some solid depth. They just went out there, did their thing, took down Philadelphia. Now San Antonio, they're still standing in these playoffs. They're going to be taking on the Houston Rockets, another Texas team in the conference finals. And then in the Eastern Conference, we got the Hawks taking on the Orlando Magic. Also, Steph Curry is retired, so I think y'all know where this is going. Whoever wins the chip is going to be adding Curry, so high stakes here. The San Antonio Spurs beat the Rockets to advance to the finals, and the Hawks ended up beating the Magic to advance to the finals. So, we'll see if Atlanta can pull off a miracle, because that's what I'd call it if they somehow beat this San Antonio team. They don't have a single 90-plus player, and the Spurs have three players who are basically 99s. I mean, I know Wembenyama's a 96, but bro's like a million feet tall. Game number one of the series goes to the Spurs. Game two goes to Atlanta. Game three is going to go to the Spurs. And the Spurs are up three to one. San Antonio is going to be adding Steph Curry. San Antonio might just be unstoppable. Steph, Bron, Kareem, and Wemby. This is a dream team, bro. Season is wrapped. John ja Moran took home MVP. MJ took home the Defensive Player of the Year. But I'm just excited to get to these playoffs. What happened to the Sixers? Hold on, man. They were the three seed in the Eastern Conference? They added Kevin Durant and were the three seed? What were y'all doing? How'd they get KD? They signed Kevin Durant to the team, right? They've still got MJ, still got Kobe. This is such a KD thing to do, joining this team. But then they got Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, John Collins coming off the bench. Yeah, y'all are frauds, bro. I don't know how they didn't win like 70 games. And then the Spurs, they won 65 games. Once they added Steph, I thought the dynasty was started in San Antonio. But I mean, they didn't even crack 70 wins. So somebody could realistically take them down and this year whoever wins the championship is going to be adding magic johnson philadelphia is just a collection of frauds they lost in game seven of the first round to the orlando magic san antonio is back in the conference finals they're taking on the oklahoma city thunder the thunder are stacked but they did lose sga which is obviously a huge loss and then in the east we got the magic taking on the washington wizards i mean i don't think either one of these teams realistically have a chance against san antonio if anybody's taking down the spurs it's gonna be the thunder and the spurs are gonna go ahead and beat the thunder in six games steph curry named conference mvp and we have a wizard spurs finals yeah good luck washington Game number one of the series goes to the Wizards. Game two is going to go to the Spurs. Game three goes to the Wizards. We're all tied up at it into game five. If Washington wins this, I'm going to be shocked. Washington had a huge lead in this game, but the Spurs came storming back. We've got a two-point game minute to go. I'm excited to see all these legends in action for the San Antonio Spurs. Wemby isn't on the floor right now, and immediately there goes Steph with a layup. I just saw Wemby coming in at the scorer's table. Curry just scored a big layup. Now the Wizards are looking to answer. Saar at the basket, going to miss, get his own board, go back up with it, and the Wizards will regain the lead. Curry going to pass it down to Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem, the sky hook, and he hits it. Oh, man. I don't think I've seen that before in a hopping game. Beautiful sky hook from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Johnson going to get the screen from Saar. Johnson, beautiful feed. Alexander Saar is eating in this game. Cassell down to Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem with some more post work. This time he's going to dunk one home. Oh, my goodness. What a dunk from Kareem. Henderson gives it down to Saar. The shot clock is winding down. Alexander Saar working on Kareem, and he's going to put it up and miss. We're headed to OT. Bro, I really thought Alexander Saar might just hit that, but he didn't. And now we've got some more basketball coming up. It's not looking good for the Washington Wizards here in overtime of game five. They're down by five points right now. They're going to need to put together some stops. Wow, that pass really got through. And Devin Vassell laid it up. I thought that was going to be a steal for Washington for sure. And that's going to do it. San Antonio gets out of here with the dub. LeBron, 18 assists and a triple-double in this one. Curry drops 32. Alexander Saar was on a different level. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough for Washington. And now they're facing elimination in Game 6. And the Spurs going to come out on top in Game 6, meaning that Magic Johnson is coming to San Antonio. 
Things are falling apart over in Philadelphia. KD left, Joel Embiid's falling off. They got Cam Thomas on the squad, I guess, but it's not looking good there. And the Spurs, they're adding magic. With Prime Magic Johnson in San Antonio, it might be over for the league. I'm gonna slide Steph Curry over to the two so Magic can do his thing as a playmaker, but I don't know who's stopping this squad. Stefan Cassell left San Antonio. I didn't even notice. Bro was coming off the bench though, so I don't really blame him. Michael Jordan won DPOY, and Greg Popovich, coach of the year. Spurs only won 58 games. No way the Spurs are going to have comp in the Western Conference, bro. I, I don't even believe it. How do they win 58 games with this basketball team? They even got some good players coming off the bench, too. This team is ridiculous. Magic came in, did his thing. Steph was solid. LeBron was good. What was wrong with this squad? And the Sixers are done for, bro. I, I don't know what's going on with them, but they were the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. And now that he's retired, whoever wins the chip this year is going to add Kevin Durant. But checking out how the playoffs have gone so far, we've got San Antonio and Memphis in the conference finals, bro. Memphis's team is stacked. They could low-key give the Spurs some comp. I mean, they really shouldn't, but you know it's 2K, so it could happen. And then we've got the Bucks taking on the Washington Wizards. I don't think the Spurs were even trying for real in the regular season because they have yet to lose in the NBA playoffs, but now they've got the Wizards in the finals. Game one of the series goes to Washington, game two to San Antonio, game three to Washington, game four to San Antonio. We're all tied up, headed into game five. If Washington pulls this off, they're just the greatest team ever. So the Wizards are going to lose in game five, Wembenyama 37 and 10, Spurs one game away from another championship. And it looks like San Antonio is going to do it. And with that said, if they add KD, they're about to cook the league once again. So that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.